Not getting help from nobody. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Single man invade by uh Zira. <clears throat> Alright guys, you just got done watching me do my little fail throw fucking game. All I have to do is back, not die. Keep the pressure on. Home home guards mobiles plus that elixir I had was just constant pressure. And you know, it might have worked, it might as long as someone backed and stopped me, but you can't leave me alone for five seconds on a turret with that build I had last game. I would have taken a tower. And I took one in hip and for and I traded, I think, whatever you call it. But my team engaged on them. Like I didn't want them engaged and they died. Bot lane died over like 20, 30 times. So it's kind of rough. So when you make those mistakes that I made, uh, you're not gonna win the game. Fucking easy as fuck in your jungle. And yeah, I like mobiles better now. And and Govly or I, a Gridiron, you're you're saying you, I need tenacity. I remember, I, I I buy Juggernaut, man. When I rush Triforce, I think Triforce is the best thing to rush right now. The nerf on Devours, I mean, it's it's worth it if you can get on your first back around seven minutes. That's when Devours OP. But if you can't get it in seven minutes, then don't even worry about it. So they don't even see this happening right now. They're focusing the thrust support. Bane gets hooked in, tanks a turret shot. They are gonna kill. Oh, nice Q. Bane's gonna die. So Gubbly had to dodge one game like he did yesterday, and he is one for one right now, so... Good shit. And that one, when I died at Dragon, that was really bad too. I think we gave it up. I didn't think I was going to take that much damage from Sendra. And that was pretty high level too. So Gizmo's getting deganked. Um, doesn't have flash. He needs to walk out. See you see how he's like walking into the bush? He needs to... Okay, well he dropped the ward in there anyway. Get stunned. And there you go. The red buff getting the kill. Smite the... Um, what do you call it? Yeah, probably shouldn't have used the smite there. Very bad smite. Well, no. Not, he has a back anyway, so... He doesn't have his jungle item. Has to... Yeah, there you go. Probably should have just pushed that next wave out. So yeah, if he had a jungle item, it would have been a bad smite because he could have used a smite over here when he's that low and he gets the return back 15%. Uh, I think missing. Yeah, hold on, what? Hold on, let me see Trailblazer. So yeah, you get uh, uh cast a smite on monsters, restores 15% of your missing health and mana. Mm -hmm. And of course, one stuns him for 1.5 seconds. So he is gonna go the bower. Uh, great start so far, bot lane 10101. Uh, definitely worth going to Bower. It's only five minutes in. Only needs 600 gold. It, you you pretty much make up. Like after this full clear, if he did does the whole top side jungle, he's like right there at 600 gold. I think. We'll we'll see um, as he goes through this. Smite finally comes up. So if he didn't smite that minion top, he could have smited that instantly. And smite might have been up for the 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 grump, but I don't think it would unless you use Summoner's Insight and. Smite cooldown 60. He decides to smite that. I don't. I wouldn't smite uh, toucan because um, nobody. There's no wards on the fucking board right now. You know, on his side, he's not doing anything but farming. So, Gromp and Heavy Handed are the ones to smite uh, right now. All right. If we take a look at his gold. So you see how he's at 445, he can go do crap after doing the grump and have enough.
And there you go. So yeah, crab equals his stack item, and that's when you want to get it. Because, you know, when shit goes down, if you're fighting, you're maxing turtle second. So there you go. Actually, that pays off. So he ganks top, and Gizmo doesn't even realize his ward's getting dropped. He's just gonna go right in there, and it looks like Dingle Dangle failing to realize there's a ward in that bush. And he's not even in it, and he tries to jump over. He flashes, and he's gone. I probably would have just like sat right here, and I said, "Garen, just fucking go in there and die for me right now." Regardless, he got it, and he definitely has enough to have a goal. He's gonna pick Young Scuds. And Lee Sin went, uh, he went chill smite, so he's chilling. Uh, chilling? I don't know about chilling. Yeah, actually, 50% slow for two seconds is definitely good, slowing people down. But I feel like Trailblazer is just too good to pass up. Now, with the nerf, uh, in 4.21, well, I wouldn't call it a nerf, but, uh, because, I mean, the fucking Trailblazer is still broken as fuck. Next patch, they're doing the two smite charges, I guess. I thought it was this patch. But yeah, you know, just the AoE stun plus the uh, return you get back when you're low. You know, a lot of times you don't ever have to back. Um, but that 15 seconds did hurt Trailblazer, but compared to the other jungle items, nothing compares. I mean, of course, if you're a full AD champion, it definitely is. It's good. You know, if, if you're able to keep up with targets, unless you're playing somebody like Warg, and you drop the old oh, Warg got nerfed. Yeah, Warwick is to me, I think he's fucking useless now. He's like he's he's off the board. It's like no one really gives a fuck about Warwick, I don't think. Um I mean he still can be OP, you can still get the bower and drop your ulti. If you get ahead, he'll do some damage. Um so yeah. Gold count four hundred. Go with that Red Bull. Alright, so if you're playing the Gates game, guys, dragons are very, very important now. They're about 10 times more important now than before because four dragons getting the tower damaged and buildings was, was you know, like a fucking hassle. It's like, fuck. Especially if you don't get them early. If you can get the first one and the second. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Lee Sin didn't, didn't even see him. Perfect. Easy dragon, hardly taking no damage from it, so. Alright, so confirm you can do it at level 5. Yeah, see there's the first dragon, 6% reduced from... Uh, uh, well, it was 8, and they reduced it down to 6 because uh, they felt like, it was, oh my god, he's so dead if Lee goes in here. So he holds him there and looks like he needs to cut them off. He should have been cutting them off from the start, so they're gonna be able to get blitz. Nicely done. Uh Bane pretty much gonna be useless. 68. Well keeping up with CS, but I mean Ezreal's 3-0 right now. If if Gubbly just gets the next dragon, cruises his way to Triforce. See, like right now, Triforce would have been the better bet. I mean the better uh uh a build to get right now. You know, it's like fuck it, you might as well. Of course, you know, Sax doesn't really matter, and they're gonna get greedy, he's gonna die, not worth at all. I don't know what the hell he was doing right there, but that's not worth dying the way you just died. You know, just let it go, their bot lane's already win, and let them take the tower. Go back into the jungle, farm your stacks. they nerfed the Vower from, you know, from uh, starting stacks from uh, 40 to 25, so, and I don't like that. You know, I feel like, why the fuck did you nerf that shit, you know? Usually, I mean, you're... you're your lane speed anyway and if you buy oh, the item it's a like waste that, delicious yeah. I'm milk and like gg a welcome fan boy. i'm sorry i'm sorry but yeah you know if, i guess it's fine and he goes boots of swiftness ah, you know it's a, it's all right it's all right you know it took 1500 gold to finish the devour guys that's phage okay he just spent a thousand on swifties that's 20 2500 gold 2500 gold plus 200 on top of that is 2700 11 minutes in so if you do the math and you add another thousand on top he has his triforce already now he has his smite he can smite uh that he just picked up the first dragon so you know he gets a second dragon this game's easy as fuck he can start split pushing he doesn't really need like devour can only set you uh, behind now no like i said i'm not saying it's a bad item we all like the stack but you know, in, in your elo, if you want to, like, just take gates, like, it's, it's time, guys. It's time to just pressure this game. Like, 
you saw that game right there, but the, you know that game that I just played is like high, like high, Diamond One slash a couple uh, people and Masters, but it's how do I how do I put? It's easier, man. It's so easy to like just do. Look at this. Uh, what the fuck? He didn't stun. Oh, Blitz is there. Rip. Uh, I thought Ezreal was there. Did he die or something? Or did he back? Oh, no, he's right there. There's the lantern. He doesn't grab it. He draws, drops a Q. And there's Gizmo dropping a... Oh, I don't think he's gonna drop that Q. Looks like he's running for his life. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're baby throwing it. So he, like, you know, there's... An, okay. Alright, so he gets greedy for the bot tower, goes and invades. They don't kill... He ran out instead of just stunning Vayne right there and just blowing her up. Um, he's at 9 stacks right now, so it's 34 instead of 49, uh, damage. Um, you know, to, to squishy targets, that's fine. But if he didn't go and take that bot tower, he could have been farming stacks. Um, and get more levels. He's level 8. Lux is level 9, so she's doing better. Uh, Gizmo's level 10. They're sieging down on you right now. Dragon spawning in a few minutes. So, you know, it's just, a. You just have to play a little bit careful when you get an early lead like that. Don't get too cocky. Mid lane speeding up a storm. There's the lantern. Oh shit, the bind. And he throws the lantern and gets onto a lantern that's about one feet away from him. There's the hook. Looks like Thresh might go down. The singularity. One, two, three. True shot. Damage being dealt like a motherfucker. And there's the condemned. Gizmo coming in. Jumps in. Suicides into the turret. There's the flame. He's gonna back off. And he is just not doing enough damage, and Lux is gonna take one of those cues. And your Garen is pushing top with a chain vest and two long swords, doing negative damage to that. So uh, Blue's about to get stolen. Gizmo getting greedy for it. Let's see if he gets the smite off. Boom. Let's see. Is he gonna smite that or Jira takes it? Holy fuck! I'd be so mad right now. Smite wasn't up. See, all he had to do is just be like, okay, let's not get too greedy. Let's just. Just, just, just farm it up, you know. So, you know, th this item that he bought the Swifties and and what he called the Bower is not paying off at all, at all. So I'm gonna pause right here and show you the difference. So, okay, forty, okay, forty six hundred. So right here, this is um, fifteen hundred to complete, fifteen hundred, uh, four hundred, and then three sixty. So seven sixty on top of that, twenty two, uh, twenty two sixty. Uh, plus uh, this right here, so 2260. I mean, that's almost 3k gold. Oh, shit, my bad. And then you add this too right here. So, uh, that is Triforce and Tier 1 boots. Right there. At the 14 minute mark. Instead, you, and, 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 and not only is that 100 times better, but, you know, I mean, you, 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 40 attack speed. Now, nobody has a Triforce, so I can't compare. But look at this. Phage right here gives you 20 movement speed. Okay, here's Triforce. So, this right here, you could have this with tier 1 boots or this with this with this. What would you rather have right now at the 14 minute mark? I mean, if you're going to play like this, I, you know, you know, some games are going to snowball. And that's for you to decide at the fucking, you know, 6 minute mark when like, oh shit, my bot lane's going to win this game. They're 2-0, oh, they're safe. I know they got this under control. Uh, I mean, all you gotta do is hit tab to see if they're doing well. Then instead of going back and you wait, because when you watch me play some of the stream games I have on my YouTube and when you watch me live, I'm like, okay, so... Or the one from last game, I have 1,400 gold on my first buy. How about Triforce? Oh shit, I'm only two items away from completing that thing. And then when you complete it, you buy a real item. Stacks right here, you know, it can make you do a lot of stupid things. You want to stack it up. Because it's still about the pressure game, guys. It's still about the game pressure. And remember that this is a real item. This is a half-ass item. Uh, unless you fucking go out and you just f flame everything. You're 100% sure that if you go here, you're going to kill something. You know, you're ganking a gizmo lane. What does he have? He's hard to kind of, you know, he's hard to kill. You know, especially if his flash is up and he has his boomerang. He can kite the shit out of you. Lee Sin, mobility. Uh, Lux is easy to kill. Vayne, sometimes a pain in the ass. She's 5'3", you know, from the greediness. Uh, coming out, but yeah, that's the thing guys. You know, it really depends. Don't just rush stacks at all There's no need to rush that keep flashes in there. That's so stupid There's no need to be all you know trying to you know, I don't know if he's doing it just to show off But no need to do, do that. Just walk around flash is very important guys Well, maybe I'm a bad influence Cause I always do that shit, but he gets the second dragon and you don't want to give those dragons up. It's pretty much a tied game. Gizmo's pressure on top. 
Uh, mid lane, you don't know what's gonna happen, especially with the uh, Azirap. Probably gave up that blue he, uh, he stole from you. Blitz about to get worked to hook the land. There's the stun. He didn't have to stun. There's the shield from Blitz. He's gonna get some way. Ezreal shows up, and there's the KS from Thresh. And looks like he's gonna go back uh, down bot, and he's only level 10. He probably should be around level 11, 12 if he didn't make those two mistakes. Um, but yeah, uh, he's about yeah, uh, let's see, 500 away from his his sheen. And it's 16 minutes in, so it only delays the gates. Like right now, pick up the second dragon and have Triforce right now. And if you smited this shit right here and you're down by yourself in lane, it's gonna take like right here. That's what it's gonna take, like right now at the 16 minute mark. And then after that, you still have Triforce, you know, you're getting the stats from Triforce. And then what happens down here? I don't know. It looks like he got kited and worked. And, and the good thing about rushing that is that, like, oh, I need tenacity. Yeah, don't worry about it. As long as you play safe. So he decides to walk in, gets a uh, light binding, come a motherfucking haw to the mouth and goes down. But they're not going to get anything out of that. It looks like it's fine. Gizmo is pushing top a little bit. Tower down. Let's see. Still full HP. Still fine. Uh, and really nothing happening right now. You know, it really comes down to, you know, mistakes. Just like we watched Gub Gubbly's, uh, Gubbly's game yesterday, you know, when he could have mowed everybody down. But right now, he's not going to mow everybody down. He is level 10 to, let's see, Gizmo's 12 and Lux is 11. So you got to be able to keep up those solo laners. He's died three times right now. Ezreal's still 5 and 1, CDR boots, Triforce. Um, and working on a last whisper, it looks like. But let's see. So this is what Triforce gives you guys, 8% movement speed, some crit, some attack speed, 30%, this gives you 50%, magic damage on hit, but instead of getting magic uh, on hit, you get a, a, a spell blade, uh, when an ability is being, uh, let's see, after using an ability, this next basic attack deals bonus damage equal to 200% of the uh, of base attack damage on hit, so right there, 1.5 seconds, you're able to you know keep doing those damn hits to the turrets, and that item makes it here, so... There's a fight going on over here. It doesn't really matter because the red team is not getting anything out of these little skirmishes. And it goes, for, you know, for the, the your team too. So Bane walks in. Garen slides two onto Gizmo. They're fail focusing so hard right now. And all Garen had to do is switch over. And Bane gonna flash out. There's the kite. It's real. Your worst nightmare, Bane, is just too strong. But still, two dragons. What the fuck? Look at that. Oh, there's a there's a, a balloon picture. They got a new picture, guys. Look at that. All right, so there's the spinner Rooney, and looks like he might want to be careful. There's the red buff applied. Ooh, there it is. Let's see if he's got the three pointer. He's gonna get the stun, get the flame, the phoenix, and Lee Sin gonna drop the smite, get the true damage. Let's see if he can land a Q. Gobbly, oh my god, that Lee Sin should be uh, uh should be fucking suspended for playing a champion. Oh my god, if you, oh my god, if he misses this again, I'm done. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he, he like, 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 Hooter's already like running down. Then it's like the Q comes out like after like 10 seconds. Holy shit. So this is why we don't play Lee Sin if you're gold, guys. Just don't play him. If you have Lee Sin or you, you main him, Lee Sin's a champion. Once you, you know, you, you work on those just mechanics of just landing those skill shots. And, and fucking ward hopping, jumping, whatever, like perfect in second people, then yeah, you, you'll go from fucking bronze uh, to fucking Chowler instantly. But yeah, I would not play Lee Sin, guys. You don't know how to make plays. Uh, you know, oh my god, he almost goes down to that. All right, so we take a look at this build. That is 2,500 basically on top of 1,500 because of course I always leave the, what do you call it? I just do the upgrade on the jungle item. So 1,525 is 4K plus this is 1,000. Uh, I mean, that's it, 4K, 5,000, 5,400 plus whatever he has in the bank. So about 6K, he, he you know, he could have used his gold a little bit more wisely in this game, knowing that it's already snowballed. Boom, of course. Uh, uh, we got baby Nair, baby Gizmo, always gonna overextend. He's gonna die. There's the uh, stupid ass boomerang that pisses me off. Then gets moving speed. And then he throws another one. Boom, stun misses. Ray Allen gonna drop two three pointers from the back line. There's the flash. There's the boomerang. The tower shot gonna be enough.
runs the challenger. Who said cha challenger? I said challenger. Fuck you guys. Why you disrespects? Bitches. Bitches. Oh, let's see. In 1v1, there's the blade. He can't fight this because once she goes invis, you just get worked. Lee Sin coming around the side. He is gonna die. Boom. Condemn. Lee Sin drops the ward. Sonic Wave 1. So, that's, you know, your build. I mean, okay. Another thing is, you don't have tenacity. You know, it's just like Gridiron says. That your, your Triforce build is shit, but, like, okay. This build right here, Triforce, should have been bought first. So, the 1500, this jungle item should be... Juggernaut. He gets 500 HP plus tenacity. There it is. Plus buying boots and Swifties is fine. It is fucking completely fine. But the reason I bought Mobos is just to be able to cover ground. And when I gank lane, I have the movement speed advantage when there's not a wave coming in. So if I don't get hit, I'm coming at that target in the mid lane when it flashes down. That's why it was so easy to gank Syndrome and kill her with ease. Alright, they're going to get Young Scuds. Uh, Uder coming back in. He really wants this. I said your name indeed. Alright, they're gonna do this. Lee Sin bad. Oh my god. Oh my god! Rip a rounds. They need to fucking hurry. I can't believe you just. Yo, fucking do dragon! Ignore this shit. This is gonna go bad. Oh my god. Just hit the fucking thing, Azrael. Get the fuck out of there. Dipset, guys. Oh man. Oh, get the fuck, get out of there, oh man, I'd, I'd be shielding myself, man, fuck. I can't believe they just stood behind to fucking kill it and get out of dodge, man. Avoid this team fight that you're seeing. Because right now, the red team is still chasing the team, they get one kill, they fail to realize there's so many minions, like, pushing mid, and they're losing out of this, and then looks like the next wave is gonna pull up, but I think these will die before the next wave pulls up, and if it doesn't, then the tower takes this. All the red team is doing is just playing with themselves, doing jack, who Look at this, boom, wasted more time. Four people showing bot. This right here, soon as I see this, I judge people. I judge people, eh? This is gold, of course. I'm like, oh my god, they don't know what they're doing. They just went over here, they lost strike, and they picked up the Uder kill, because they, of course, you know, Gubbly and Ezreal and, what do you call it, are just sitting here watching Thresh solo thing when they could have just killed it right away and got out of there and nothing would happen. But regardless, you know, maybe it was a good thing, because right here, look at these guys, they're playing with each other, there's a fucking playground over here. They're not getting shit done. And then, of course, the wave, let's see if it goes down, let's hit play. play. Okay, so it doesn't make it, but looks like these will get overpowered. Okay, the tower's starting to work, one of those minions. They're still bot lane, and for some reason, uh, Zeraf died eight times. Looks like he's feeding on purpose. Uh, Garen dies top. And this is what you have to carry. So you dying and making these mistakes, wasting flash, is not paying off right now. Your build, you need a little bit more time now, because you need a little bit MR, you need some armor. So, and, you know, that's why if you would've kept it at the, uh, if you would've got Juggernaut, now you can start working on those, uh, defensive items. And they're still trying to siege down Kamehameha, rip a round, he goes down, Ezreal's top, let's see if he's able to clear this, but they're actually gonna be able to get a tower after this, because people overextend and they don't know any better. True shot coming out, ooh, later, bitch, and he gets fucked, um... But yeah, guys, you know, I'll, you know, I'm gonna be, I don't know why it doesn't record these videos, though, on my, my new program. Because low replay is kind of fucked right now. I don't know if there's an update. I should go check. Because I need to get my low replay so I can actually watch these specs and do my my ways. I, my ways, I want to do them on the ELO I, I play in, but sometimes it's just too troll. It's better to do, like, like, one of these as a my way. Because, you know, because there's so many things I can tell you what to do, and, and if you just knew these things, uh, you would you would do so much better. You know, it's just like how I said, Triforce first was the better option. He, he's probably got a lot of gold in the bank. He's got, no, never mind, a thousand. So buying Glacier Shroud next would be fine, a Kindle Gem, buying Home Guards and just running out and buying Elixir would be fine too, but he's got to put constant pressure. He's got to keep somebody, one or two or three people in his lane and not die. And that might be kind of hard with Lee Sin with Tempest plus Might that slows him down for 50% uh, for two seconds. Uh, it might be too strong. Plus the Blitz knock up, the hook, the Night Binding, the stun. It's a lot of CC to deal with. So, you know, the, 
That tenacity was definitely uh, needed. There is an update, okay. Where it plays uh, these videos. Use LSI low sum. I use that one. Does it uh, does it let you uh, uh, does it let you play this game, spectator games? My friend told me there was an update and finally got it to work. Okay. Well, I don't mind having both of them. I don't mind. You know, if, if specs are not recorded. Oh, the gates. The gates. He doesn't have the elixir pop, but he has the build. And nobody go. Take the tower. Die for the tower. He should have just died for the tower right here. He's gonna walk to his death. He's dead. Boom. Slap. Sonic Wave misses. He flashes out. Boom. Left. A singularity. Kamehameha walks right into it when he could have just ignored everybody and just taken his turret. The minions did this much damage right here. All he had to do is just go straight down and take this turret and die for it. And now they're going to ping Baron, so he might lose Baron. If he loses Baron, three minutes of just stalling out. He had no vision, but sometimes, you know, when you have such a big wave, you can just decide whether, you know, you want to go here. Oh, nicely done. Ezra doing work. Ray Allen dropping three pointers, and there's the hook. They need to be a little bit careful. Wooter's not there. True shot coming out. Does hit uh, Gizmo. Vane comes in. There's the light binding. Rip a Rone. Stun comes out. The W plus E. And there's the Q from uh, Zero. I don't know none of his abilities. I don't plan on learning any of his names. Nice flash. Ezra takes out young Gizmo. I think he arcane shifted all over that and spit on it. So the pressure right now, bot lane, once again, red team unnecessarily, you know, fighting these fights and not getting anything out of it. And, you know, just not going their way too, of course, you know, you know some of the uh, guys luck to super fed. Uh, Gizmo is doing a lot of damage, Blade on King Swifties uh, and Blade or, or Triforce, but just, or, you know, they're just focusing the wrong targets. They might've blown everything in. Okay, that works, I guess, right? Dragon's up in a minute, you know, Dragon, uh, he's got Dragon under control, 5% movement speed, 15% damage, powers, and building, that is so fucking broken, man, at, for level 2, that's what they want to do, but split pushing game is all to, at an all-time high right now, I need to find a, a, a build where I can, uh, I can solo Dragon early, but, you know, run movement speed quince. So Gizmo gonna loop around maybe to go for the deer because they're tired. You know, this is what they do in low elo. When they see a split pusher, they're tired uh, of fucking just dealing with this. See, like, why is he even trying to go top, like, right now? Like, what does he do? Oh my god, he's doing damage. I take that back. Holy fuck. Yeah, he's probably upset. Wow. Now he's going for Zephyr. Mm -hmm. A lot of farm here. Alright, let's see if he has 1600 gold. Yeah, he's about to have his effort. They're just giving up his Baron for free. Not good. Rip. Ah, oh, four dragons. I guess it's worth it. He's gonna get the pushing power right here. Pushing power, definitely a plus. To give up Baron. Because Baron's only last for three minutes anyway. You get 300 gold. And gold count right now doesn't fucking matter. Baron doesn't do shit for you. Besides, unless of course you can seize down down and get something or get a couple picks. And yeah, there's we don't know what's gonna happen. People will get caught, and then if they do get caught, they're gonna end up losing if they still have this Baron around. As I was saying. And then as I was saying. So never mind. They brought it to the red team. They have Baron and they just decided to fight. Uyghur is doing his own thing right now. This game is just becoming super, super hard right now. He doesn't buy Zephyrs and... Oh, he doesn't... And it's, it's a bad idea. No, the red team has to go down and siege right now. They have to five-man this. Gizmo is, is pushing. He doesn't keep an elixir on him. If he would have kept the elixir on him... Does he have smite? He doesn't... So he smited something in the wave. He cannot smite something in the wave when he's pushing down. He has to smite Krug right here and push this down and then put the damage. It takes a big chunk right now. So if he doesn't back, and he doesn't keep pushing either when he's getting seat down. So people get caught and he goes down. They're gonna lose his in hit, but he looks like they're gonna trade. Gizmo doesn't have his teleport up. Now he's got the improved recall. 
He's coming down. He, oh, laser beam. He has to run for his life. Now he might die here. No. Holy damages. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Gates game is not looking good right now. They still have Baron for about, let's see, uh, oh, it's three minutes now, so let me do the math again. Now we'll just say they got a Baron for a minute. A minute 30. Bane hits that final hour. There's a the hook. Oh, rip. Like a bitch. So it looks like they're throwing. They probably should have focused the tower. Blitz can't go down, so there's two down for the red team. I don't know what the hell Blitz, how he died. But well, they are throwing this game, and while Uter is dead, there's the spin and the death on Lee Sin. It looks like they're chasing Lux, has the flash, and a waste Baron. Gizmo has, he's pushing top, there's the death. The Xerox could go uh, top to hold that, so, you know, it, it's rough times, man. It's rough times at the z -Lo. Uter shows up, flashes in, let's see, he needs to run ahead of him. Doesn't run ahead of him, runs back, he's scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Kill this fucking guy, or he's gonna kill your teammate. Oh, I like to see why. Oh my god, what a monster. If he turns around and kills the deer. See, like, right there how he smited? What the fuck do you smite for? Smite fucking Krug, man. They redo it. They up the cooldown to 60 seconds, man. Save your smite. You don't need a smite. You have a you have Phoenix, man. Phoenix will push this. There's there's no need to rush, man. You guys gotta understand when you smite this fucking thing, like right now with the build you have, tower. This is how much it's gonna get chunked right there. It's gonna be fucking chunked uh, that much. It's, and that tower is fucked. You mean you got Spellblade? You have all this attack speed. Now you finally uh, got your jungle item. If if you're getting siege on right now, you just pop that elixir. Your, your minions will move around 600 movement speed as long as you have your elixir pop then you can just haul it right down so he does krug and doesn't have smite up so he should have just left krug there until smite came up so he could smite that thing it looks like lux has uh made a big mistake here nope not enough and she goes down it just makes it so much easier now though and uh, and i would most definitely if you're farming like you are Keep a elixir in your fucking. You gotta keep one one spot open for that in your inventory. Cause if you have that and and you're pushing that one time, that I'm, yeah, he he would have had it in him. At least in him tower, he can work on some other ones. The outer turrets. Looks like there's a fight. I don't know if he plans on going. No, he decides to back off. Or is he there? What, did I miss him? Or did he back? No, he's actually over here. What the fuck's he doing? His team's fighting. His team just want to fight. Vayne goes down. Oh, he sees Vayne, and there you go. Only difference between silver and gold is gold thinks they got somewhere. <laughs> yeah, if you think you got somewhere, man, I would, I would definitely, you know, not think you got anywhere. You know, you, there's still, man, lots to learn. If you're gold, I know, I understand that everybody gets out of bronze or happy, but you know. It, it, shit's easy, man. Shit's easy. It's easy. Like, silver, nothing's holding you back. Remember that. Gold, bronze, nothing's holding you back. Nothing, man. At all. And people think that they're getting held back because of their teams. And that's the sad part, you know? Like, I, you know, I don't know. Now, when you get to my elo, then you realize, like, holy fuck, man. It's a struggle, man. Diamond one is like in the struggle. Diamond, well, all of diamond. Uh, let me see. What is this? What was that video called? God damn. It's not so fun. Dragon's up in 30. There's nothing they can do. Momentum has pretty much shifted over to the, the blue team. Udir's got pushing power with four dragons. And he's about to pick up his fifth. And now they're Super Saiyan 5.
All right, so looks like they're running down Grand. Grand might die here. Oh my God, somebody's getting worked. Zero up dropping three pointers. Let's see, sitting on top of Ward doesn't even know it. Uh, let's see if he gets binded here. Udyr's like, hey man. Oh, he hits, uh, gets on that. Oh my God, nobody's there to protect uh, Lux. Yeah, I don't think so, babe. Uh, you are gonna go down. And why, where is he at? Oh, he's on Gizmo. There's a Ghost Blade, and he's just gonna run around. Boom, he's gonna go down, get taken to the Dragon. Shut down, Zero. I'm gonna drop one of his abilities, get hooked in. The W kills Lee Sin. Gizmo gonna jump. Boom, get the stun. Let's see if he gets the slam. And the rush comes in, and he's not gonna get this Dragon. If he wasn't sitting in that bush and actually went over there and just solo Dragon, he would've finished it before they even uh, did anything, because Lee Sin was too busy trying to help his team. Unless Thresh can come in and somehow steal this, but nope. And Thresh is gonna suicide into this team. Gizmo does too much damage right now. He's just gonna sail all over him. The hook does not land, but he backflips, lands the hook. Garen working his way over, he drops his lantern, the boomerang to slow the exhaust, and let's see, there's the spin, and ulti not up, and he might actually get out of this, and looks like Garen's coming back in, oh, gets his ulti at the right time, gets the rock slow down, so, yeah, so that delays that Super Saiyan 5, Baron is up right now, 2 seconds on the DR, 4 on the zero up, and Garen's dead for a longer period of time, uh, same with Thresh and Lee Sin, and they're going for another Baron. So this is like part two of the fucking epicness that we watched yesterday. That's gonna make me cry. Gubbly, you know, it, you know, when I watched him in Silver, you know, I said he was the be best one in Silver because he did what you're supposed to do: avoid all these team fights and everything. Now he just needs to, uh, you know, know what to do. You know, his his build order is. You don't like I said. I, I said this before, guys. If you're playing a Moo Moo, you don't have to finish any jungle item. So one, two, he jumps. Let's see. He might doesn't want to get greedy. Gets greedy. Kamehameha. Peace light. He does get greedy to try to kill Gizmo and loses another Baron. <clears throat> now this is a struggle, guys. This is oh man. He backed four seconds. I was wondering why. What, what the fuck? Why would he back though? So if he did back, you know, I thought like he was running over there and he had this shit. So he keeps getting in fights. He's died nine times. Ezreal, 23, is doing so much damage. But with him dead, they have to hold the gates right now. Are they able to hold the gates? The hook lands, plays, gets a turret shot. Ray Allen dropping three pointers from the back line. And boom, lands two of them. Pro support uh, needs to run for his life. And there's a Q coming out. The hook does land. There he is, Sazania's. And they need very careful fucking with this. Oh, nice Kamehameha. And looks like Vayne's gonna turn around. They back off. Garen shows up. The hook does not land. There's the sun. The Q. The E. Oh, shit. The spin of Rooney. The hook. <laughs> and Garen's gonna drop dead. Vayne slides right in there. And that W's gonna slow down Vayne. And she's just gonna frontal check this bush with that zero. Where's his stun? There's the final hour. The auto attack. Triple kill. Toucan says, hold the fuck on, baby. This is my jungle. Toucan is holding the four down. What a beast. Takes out Vayne. And looks like Gizmo's gonna take this tower with the Baron the Super Minions in, uh, in hands. It's gonna be easy pickings. Oh, looks like this game is over, actually. It's the time has stopped. The time has stopped. He's not gonna be able to do anything out of this. It's already a little bit too late for anything. Big, big, big mistake. I want to know. I hope I can watch the replay. I'm doing it my way on this video. And I'm going to break down the fucking gates for you guys. So if, if my thing works, this is going to be a gate too. As a matter of fact, let me go update that shit real quick. Or find a way. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get... I am definitely doing a my way on this video. And I'll show you guys how the fuck... I'll break the gates down for you. If you want to climb out and you want to play with there still... You want to learn the builds and everything and understand the game because this game right here, fuck stacks, man. Look, stacks are great. They nerfed the fucking item from 40 to 25 for what? You know, you're talking about a champion that has to build this fucking item. Well, I don't know. You know, when it comes to this, anything's possible, you know. You, you can fall behind. You have that item. It sucks. You die. You die. You die. You know, it's, it's really, you know, like...